Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 27th through to about July 4th, 2022. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, especially if you would like me to continue with the weeklies, please give this video a thumbs up. You can leave me a comment and let me know. And definitely make sure you are subscribed, of course. All right, let's see what you have coming up. I do apologize for any background noise. It's a little loud here today. All right, what does Aquarius have? Okay. Wow, look at these majors. You have the Hermit and you have the High Priestess along with the Four of Wands. Okay. Aquarius, what does Aquarius have coming up for this week? So we have the hanged man, and it is it is sideways, so you gotta take it how it resonates. Maybe you're letting go of something that maybe you were hung up on, you're maybe waiting for someone or something. Maybe you felt stuck. Let's see, let's see what else comes out. Aquarius. All right, we have the queen of wands. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, which is upright. And then we also have the Page of Wands. Okay. So now we just need an overall energy. What is the overall energy for Aquarius for this week, please? What is the overall energy? three of swords all right let's see definitely may not be bad for all of you this energy does tend to linger it can be a three-party situation for some of you not all of you we do have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck yeah so I mean it definitely could be a three-party scenario Let's see. Wow. Okay, so we do have a new possibility. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. This could be something that you're thinking about quite a lot here at this time. Now, some of you, some of you are partnered, possibly married, but some of you are partnered and there's some sort of um, distance here. Uh, this is you maybe separated from your your partner, maybe your family for some of you. That could be due to work. It's not always just, you know, a separation or a cheating scenario. Uh, it could be that you have something new in your life, Aquarius, or your partner has something new. And maybe, you know, maybe uh, this is with work. There could be a, a separation here due to work. And, you know, you're definitely feeling it. But you do have healing energy here. Okay, you have temperance. You have the page of swords. Wow, look at this. Three of wands. Six of cups. Six of 
So I feel like someone is definitely watching somebody. They're definitely keeping an eye on you, Aquarius, or this could be you watching them. You both could be watching each other, especially with this energy. So maybe, maybe there was a breakup or, you know, if you are separated from your person, I definitely see you thinking about them quite a bit and I definitely see you maybe keeping an eye on them. We do have the Ace of Wands. This is a, a new possibility for some of you. Um, I feel like I am reading for some Aquarians where you are going to, and maybe it's not this week, but at some point here, you definitely may reconcile with this person. That could be something that you're thinking about here this week. I could be thinking about this quite a, quite a bit, Aquarius. And maybe you see things from a different perspective, or maybe your person is going to be seeing things from a different perspective. But the overall energy is the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak, it's pain. But those of you that are separated from your person, you're definitely feeling it, you're, you're feeling that distance. You guys could, though. You could be texting quite a bit. I mean, I feel like some of you are in contact with your person or you're going to be. Communication is definitely coming in. For some of you, it may be at the end of this week. Now, I am reading for some Aquarians where maybe at the start of the week, you're contemplating whether or not you want to reach out to this person. I think that some of you definitely will. Definitely. But I am reading for some Aquarians where maybe at the start of the week, especially here, uh, you want to be alone. The first two cards out, I mean, we have the Hermit, we have the High Priestess, so your intuition is definitely speaking to you here at this time. Maybe some of you are actually being guided to make amends, to possibly forgive to look at this person or this situation from a different perspective. But I see you at the start of the week definitely pulling back, definitely spending time alone, meditating uh, here at this time. Maybe some of you are even trying to find something out. I mean, you could be trying to find out if someone has cheated on you or something like that you know what is this person up to especially if you guys are separated now for some of you this is your energy but for others this could be this could be a woman could be another woman if you are a female with the Queen of Wands. This could be the person that maybe you're checking out or if you have some suspicions, this could be um, the person that you are maybe looking into because I definitely feel like some of you are looking for answers here. Maybe you wanna know if somebody is giving to this person. You have the Queen of Wands. You do have the Six of Pentacles here. And so on this particular Six of Pentacles, you can see how this person is dropping some coins here. There's two hands, which can represent two different people receiving help or receiving attention, receiving something here. High Priestess is a secretive energy. You could be doing something Aquarius uh, and staying quiet or wanting to keep it quiet. Now, for a handful of, of Aquarians, for those of you where it is like a three-party scenario, 
for some of you, it may not be your feelings that are hurt. Your heart may may not be broken. I mean, you may not be the happiest. But some of you still could definitely be taking a break, wanting some you time here, especially at the start of the week. And if you're not feeling this pain, this could be this could be somebody else. And for some of you, somebody needed to make a decision, but they could have maybe dropped the ball. Maybe they, you know, could have refused to make a decision or refused to pick or something like that. But um, I do see you happier. I do see you happier here in the near future. So at the end of this week, so that's around uh, July 4th, there definitely could be a party that's taking place. I do see communication. Some of you are receiving an invitation to a party. And maybe some of you were stuck. Maybe some of you wanted to be alone prior, especially if your heart is healing. But, you know, first two cards out, we have the Hermit, we have the High Priestess. So maybe some of you were staying indoors. But I do see an invitation coming in. Many of you will go to this. So maybe you're multitasking. You may have to work at this time. You may have multiple different things going on. But you're going to find a way. You're going to find a way. We have temperance. We have the ace of wands, the two of pentacles. You will definitely find a way. And some of you could even be picking up like a second job at this time. Some of you are working multiple jobs. I'm definitely reading for some Aquarians where you're working multiple jobs. You have multiple maybe streams of income. And you may have a new possibility that's coming up here. It's something that's exciting. It's something you want to do. And so, yeah. Now, for a handful of you, this is literally just a couple of you. But definitely comment. Let me know if you resonate. But this is something I'm getting. So I'm just going to, you know, mention it quickly here. Uh, for some of you, there could have been uh, some sort of procedure or something that you've had done recently and you're staying indoors because you're recovering and so some of you are more focused on your appearance here at this time and so you may have had a procedure or you're having one maybe at the start of the week and if not you this could be maybe uh, a friend or a family member someone around you maybe you're going to actually be helping this person so someone may have some sort of procedure that even can be like a cosmetic procedure and um, you're staying indoors or maybe you're actually helping someone and um, later on i do see you going out and having fun and so it's actually a really nice spread uh, I'm definitely getting a few different things here with this Three of Swords. Yeah, so let's see what the overall guidance is for you, Aquarius. What is the overall guidance for Aquarius, please? Wow, look at this. At the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, we have abundance. Beautiful. So happiness awaits. Abundance is coming in. Financial, emotional. You have the nine of cups with the four of wands. Yes, some of you are multitasking here. You could be working multiple different jobs to bring in that financial abundance. But, I mean you're doing it you're doing it yeah look at that we have balance and then we also have guardian angels so you have a guardian angel definitely with you at this time 
you can call on your angels, your ancestors, you can call on the divine. You can ask them to intervene with something, ask them for signs, messages that maybe you're making the right decisions. I do apologize for background noise, guys. But this is beautiful, this is beautiful. Both of these cards just jumped out and then you also have abundance here as well. Let's take a look at your love life. What is the advice for Aquarius looking at their love life for this week? But I do see many of you uh, definitely looking good, feeling good. I mean, others at this time are definitely going to be drawn to you. They definitely find you to be very attractive. And so, yeah, let's see. What is the guidance for Aquarius looking at their love life? Codependency just dropped out. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Interesting. Codependency. Oh, and then we have children. So another sign, another sign had multiple cards come out together and I believe codependency and children were actually uh, in that group of cards that came out. I want to say that was for cancer for this week, but I could be wrong. So maybe you're dealing with the cancer um, or maybe, maybe, maybe you have cancer in your chart, but this is quite the combination because some of you could be dealing with someone who's needy. Yeah, you may find someone to be needy at this at this time. But for others, I mean, you may have children. If you are meeting someone, uh, because some of you definitely are single, I see you going out, I see you having fun, you may meet someone who has children. Yeah, look at this, we have getting to know each other at the bottom of the deck, we have heart to heart conversations. Yeah, separation, but we do have reconciliation, look at this. Give your relationship a chance. So for some of you, this is you contemplating, re-sparking that, that passion within a relationship. You may take a break, but Ultimately, I do see communication. You guys will definitely talk about it. And maybe, maybe, if you don't have children, maybe your person is going to tell you that, you know, they see something from your perspective. Maybe they were acting a little childish. All right, let's look at career. I am using this deck to focus on career advice what is the career advice for this week for aquarius please you may actually find out that someone is codependent aquarius i think that with balance especially those of you where this is maybe a long-term relationship or a marriage I think you're going to try to work with this person what is the guidance looking at Aquarius's career for this week please breaking free look at this So, <laughs> some of you may break free from a job. I mean, that could be because you have a new job opportunity, Aquarius, that's coming in. Definitely. If you've been working multiple jobs, um, some of you, I mean, you could be leaving a job because maybe... Maybe you're being um, promoted or receiving a raise. There could be a wish that's coming in here. There's good news with the Page of Wands and the Nine of Cups. 
could be breaking free from something that's no longer serving you. That could be a number of different things. But let's see what signs you're dealing with. Who is Aquarius dealing with this week? Maybe you've sacrificed quite a bit, Aquarius, for maybe an employer. And some of you are, are saying no more. All right, we have air. So you may be dealing with another air sign. Look at that, we have Gemini coming through. Gemini, Libra, or possibly another Aquarius. But overall, the energy is very positive. So I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like me to continue the weeklies, please make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment if you would like. Go check me out on social media. If you are interested in having a private reading, my website information is down below. Make sure, guys, you're only following the links that I provide, okay? All right, guys. Have a great week. Take care.